afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is, of course, Light Liger here, and today I'm gonna be doing an altcoin overview for September, looking at the news headlines, potential investments, and also looking at the charts and doing some predictions. And there will be timestamps down below, unless I was too lazy to do them. Starting out with the front page here, we have seen a lot of movement in the top 10. I think in last month's video, I did talk about that I saw Bitcoin SV or Bitcoin Cash. One of them would be falling out from top 10. And as you can see, SV is currently sitting at 11. And not too long ago, it was sitting at 9 and 10. This is like in one day, they have lost this position. And they're not too far away from Crypto.com, Crow. So I can definitely see SV going lower and lower because they are not able to produce anything really worthwhile. And Greg might go into the jail. I don't know. The thing is still ongoing. And I also see Cash and Litecoin going down because this is the momentum for DeFi products. And they have none. Okay. Far as I know, at least. So there's nothing that they could do to make increase in valuation. So I see definitely um, Polkadot is probably going to be staying in top 10. Chainlink might drop a couple of positions. Ethereum is going to be gaining more uh, percentage on, you know, dominance. And maybe there's a couple of players who could enter to the top 10. Tron, Cosmos, any of these UFI projects could make it. If VeChain comes out with a DeFi project, I could see it also going. Year in Finance could definitely come into the top 10. But a lot of it is speculation, remember that. And there has been a lot of other new players coming in. Kusama at $56. I bought it at $6 and I'm really mad that I sold it at $25. But the Binance listing made it boom. Um, and also, where is it? Sushi, a new project less than a week old, already at top 100. And there has been many clones like Octo kimchi and many i think toast <laughs> so many food base a lot of them are clones and very risky i don't think many of them are going to be around from week from now on even sushi probably will drop below um top 100 i think that's going to happen and it's going to be interesting to see but there's going to be a lot of swaps in the top 100 a lot of d5 projects are going to be staying there for a week and then they will be probably out. Not all of these DeFi projects are gonna be staying long there uh, for the long term. But let's kind of jump into some of the news uh, that are going around right now. So the first story that came out today is actually Pornhub is now accepting Bitcoin and Litecoin. Previously, they came to learn uh, from The Verge in 2018, which by the way, in my opinion, uh, is totally dead coin. If you own it, I would sell it. Not a financial advice, like anything I say in this video. Just my two cents. And just, just there's so many better privacy projects than Verge right now, and they don't even see, seem to have a roadmap going on. And I think Pornhub is going to be adding more. I think OnlyFans and sites like these are probably going to be embracing crypto because um, there's so many players in censoring porn stars and porn actresses and. Um, so I think for their industry, it just makes a lot of sense for them to adapt crypto. This is obviously great for Bitcoin and Litecoin, but this news really didn't make a lot of change in anything. But it's a great way for people, you know, um, to purchase stuff because you, the, the wife or the husband, if they have a porn addiction, maybe they don't want their partner to know. Or maybe they like to watch stuff like that and they don't want that to be happening on the credit bill or somewhere where the other partner can see it. So I think it's pretty good to have those semi-anonymous um, transactions. But moving on, we have Flamingo, which is a DeFi protocol on NEO. This is coming out soonish uh, in September. It's this month. And I'm very excited to actually make a video about it once it's out. And this is basically, I think they are doing an AMM, which is a Uniswap protocol, basically. And... There's going to be some type of um, uh, interaction with, I mean, there's a lot of things that go into this, but basically there's going to be interaction with uh, ontology, for example, I believe Cosmos is involved as well. So this seems a very good thing. And I think a lot of um, these things are going to be having wrappers in place, which will take off some of the congestion from Ethereum, which in my opinion is good. So we have seen that already, Tomo, Tomo and Tron. 
Another AMM that is on the works is a Polka Swap. Also, um, we're going to be talking about it a bit later on this video, but this is another project and, and you know, very good news that is coming out. So I'm very bullish on this and definitely expect a video once this comes out. Um, moving on, we have Zcoin halving that will be taking place later uh, this month in 13 days. No other major halvings, in my opinion, or to my knowledge, are actually going to be taking place. But um, Zcoin is definitely one of those that I've talked about before, and I do own um, a bit of a bag. So I'm hoping that this price will maybe see some growth um, from now on. Also, um, Tron has decided to do a meme coin, which will be launching literally today. And this will be basically you just more, uh, lock your Tron into a smart contract for a amount of days and then you will get your Tron back and also your son. And there's going to be like 21 million of it, which is or 24 million was it around the same size as Bitcoin's volume. And this is going to be like a DeFi project. I don't think there's going to be a lot of use cases around it. I mean, it's just... Tron seems to be doing a lot of these to tokens recently, and I think they just too have too many which are like coming from a centralized source rather than letting the third-party services build their own tokens because you don't want things to become centralized. But I will be definitely talking about it later. And then the last news story is that um, the Seoul Police, which is the capital of South Korea, are now looking into Bitthumb that there's something weird going on. If you are too worried about something happening to Bitthumb, but maybe now is a good time to draw your funds from this exchange and move it into another. And the last piece of evidence, sorry, not evidence, but news is from Crypto Differ. I recommend uh, following them on Twitter. And there's a bit of a list of things that are going to be taking place. I don't know much about these projects. Scale Network I'm somewhat familiar with. Sale is happening tomorrow. Elrond mainnet swap is happening. Bluezell has a mainnet launch. Nem has a testnet launch. I believe that is the catapult one. And Dusk is starting staking. And I don't know nothing about this, but Ultra. That's something that I'm very bullish about. Bought it at six cents, been shilling it for you guys since 2019. And Ultra is still a good buy. Maybe wait for, I think it's now 12 cents. And this is a coin that go go to five bucks. This is gonna be a top hundred coin, maybe a top ten coin once the product starts like really. This is a big fucking project, like the, maybe the biggest like chance to go for mass adoption in my opinion. Um, if their product actually deceives, and I I think I'm gonna be getting access soon for it. So, but let's get into the coins. So. First of all, I have my one inch exchange referral link down below. So if you want to support my work and you know, everything investigations and all this stuff that I do is most for free. So the one inch will aggregate you for the best price for the best tokens. And it will like cross reference from all of these websites. So you can trade a bit cheaper than in Uniswap because you can use Chi, which is there gas token which costs oh, drops the costs like i don't know like 40 percent from what they are now so trading on DeFi is very expensive you might want to wait out or you can use one in exchange to save on fees the first coin i'm going to be featuring is waves most people are familiar with and you're probably wondering well ll why exactly we should invest in waves and i think the biggest thing about waves that ha they have going on right now is the fact that they are building this gravity protocol, which is a decentralized cross chain and Oracle network that doesn't have any token. And it's basically gonna be interacting with a lot of different chains out there. And this is gonna be big. This is kind of like a, some, like a let's mini Cosmos or mini Polkadot ecosystem, basically. I mean, which I shouldn't call it mini because there's a lot of already partners here. Solana, Cardano, Waves, Ethereum, Polkadot, Tezos, Tron, uh, Band, Cosmos, Hedera Hashgraph, Neo, Ethereum Classic, VeChain, and EOS. And Ontology is now also on board. So this is going to be like a one way to basically do like cross-chain swaps and stuff like that. And this is also... Uh, going to be affecting Waves price and it doesn't have its native token so I don't know where the Waves comes in if people want to get into the Gravity Network maybe they have to buy Waves and that's going to be 
putting up the price up. You know, guys, that I'm bullish on also on Neutrino. So Waves is really putting their big bags, uh, big pants on. And uh, you, you don't need to buy at the top right now. I mean, it was at $4.66. And right now we are sitting at three four four, And I've been accruing it under a dollar. <laughs> so, and I sold at like literally three days early when this, uh, I sold at here or something like that. And then I didn't just like skyrocket. I've been mad about it. I exchanged my waves into Neutrino. And the higher the, the waves price, the higher the Neutrino rewards will be. And I think this is, um, and the Roy reward for Waves is around 9% for year. So it's a pretty good investment, I'm, I mean, my opinion. So um, now right now, it's relatively cheap to get in. It can go back to under $2, obviously, and then you can buy it again. But I, I am really looking forward to this. And once they launch this thing, you know, price is going to be booming up. Moving on, we have Shardcoin, which is the lowest gap project that I have listed in this whole video. You remember my video on their Infinity Wallet? Big fan of that wallet. I said that it's visually the second best and it's going to be probably eventually one of the best wallets in the market once they get some staking services on it and they also get new coins. So it's kind of lacking on the coin department, but I mean, you have Ethereum there, you have Bitcoin, I think Litecoin and also Shard and uh, Metrics. And they have an Infinity Swap, which is a basically a swapping protocol, Infinity Protocol, which will be a DeFi protocol, exchanging, lending, and earning interest and investing fully integrated within the ecosystem. They also have an exchange coming out called the Shardax, where basically in this exchange, all the coins that are there are basically staking, getting staking rewards. And this is like a really, really low gap coin right now. And I think it's going to be um, much more valuable in the future because people want to list into their wallet once it becomes more mainstream. And it's right now in like literally two exchanges and the liquidity is not that great, but I'm a really a big believer. I just synced in hundred bucks more into this today because I think their ecosystem is really powerful and I think they're going to be going in places, but move on. And yeah, here's so it's currently sitting at six cents. The 30 day chart looks um, pretty stable. It's been going up from one cent. So uh, there has been already a lot of gains and I'm buying it on stake cube exchange. And it's also going to be on barter decks, which we're going to be talking about a second as well. People who are looking for some DeFi stuff, Hacka finance is one of the ones that I've been acquiring. I like this project because it's not all bullshit speculation. They actually have products that are out. Uh, one of the probably the biggest one is the black hole swap. And this is basically a uh, liquidity mining, not really liquidity mining, but swapping service basically for stable coins. And they are working on other things and it's already on a couple of exchanges already. And they are building things. This is going to be one of probably one of those DeFi projects that is going to be around for a bit of time. It has already kind of like mooned out. I probably bought in at 27 cents. I think as you can see the seven day chart, it looks very healthy. And, you know, it was even over dollar and it might go back up again there. Imagine 40 days is already thousand percentage. So uh, Hakka Finance is definitely one of those ones that I recommend uh, checking out out of the DeFi ones because they don't seem to be a copy of anything. They have their own product, GitHubs and everything. So they look pretty clear. Next up, we have sharing. This is basically they have two different products. So they have um, sharing app and sharing shop. And I was referred to uh, shout outs to Val Wallace, which, which uh, referred me to this project. Um, it's a very interesting uh, thing that they have like app, which can be used to open your car and stuff like that. There's a good video, which kind of gives a better pitch that I will be or the website on the project and its potential. And then they have this sort of a, like, um, like a shopping network where people are like in the local community there's like a delivery guy who will go shop you certain stuff on local stores and then bring it to you on the same day to your doorstep basically that's the concept that i kind of got from this and this looks very promising right now it's very cheap to buy and acquire right now um the 30-day chart for especially has been going up a lot down a lot and you can look at this you the, the height was at around, was it 55 cents around? And now it's only at half of that. So now is a good time to accrue this token. 
and uh, you know wait till it goes back again because they're you know they have like a real millionaire behind this project who has like run like real businesses outside of blockchain so um maybe there will be a full video about this later on but definitely one to look on to uh, Loki, a coin that I have acquired very long time ago. I also bought a new back today because I was very bullish on the news that I got. This is a Mastonode coin with a lot of privacy elements. And they are working on block swap. And this, this um, you know, there's a news. What is block swap? So block swap will quickly and easily swap two cross-chain cryptocurrencies Bitcoin and Ethereum without centralized exchanges, specialized wallets or wrapped tokens. Similar to Uniswap, but for cross-chain transactions using continuous liquidity pools. That is very interesting. And they, I think today they are going to be releasing the first version or something, or this is the first version of it. And Loki, you know, a lot of interesting elements here. It's a has a hardcore fan base and following, so some cool coin and it could go to Binance for example and that could mean a lot of price jump so uh, Loki is sitting at 80 cents right now as you can see the 30 day chart being gaining pretty nicely up um, and there's gonna be more accumulation periods where it's gonna be going down and then you can buy again uh, with a lower price and I definitely recommend you know looking into this more um, these all the takes we're gonna be talking about today are pretty surface level stuff and I probably bought it before at 30 cents, I want to say. I think I bought it in 2019, perhaps. But um, yeah, I'm looking very bullish on this right now. It might even reach its all-time high very, very soon again, looking at the, the direction that it's going. Then we have actually the first yield mining project on Tron. And since everybody is priced out from goddamn Ethereum right now, you might want to look into Pearl Finance. And this is like a very new contract and they have usdt usdj and tie i don't know what tie is actually and then you have pearl and you will be getting um rewards from that the token is already priced at three thousand dollars and it's also the contract has been verified uh by slowmist.com so it's a vetted contract and the audit report can be found here in case people are interested in it and this is obviously in chinese though so um you might want to have a translator with you and they have like basically a farm you use tron link i might do a video about this uh, very soon i'm talking about a possible <laughs> possible sponsorship with them and they already had a jsd farm and dzi i don't know what dzi is um and you know there's already a copy of this which was called like acorn or something like that but their contract is not open source so i i would go for peril because it's more trustworthy but it's a great opportunity, though, however, because, as I said, um, it's already on Who and Bkex. They have added it already. And let's refresh this page because the price is probably different now. Okay, so the price is jumping a lot into different places in the last 24 hours. And there might be, you know, you buy it here and then you sell it here. So i can see it going up and down a lot so this could be like 20 percent gains on a daily basis if you flip it and it's pretty cheap to do that because well as you know tron has low fees then we have barter decks which i talked about earlier because they are working with shardax and they are basically working on this website is goddamn slick i love this uh, they have a partnership with shard uh so me um, many other partnerships with Hive also. That's where I heard about it for the first time. And this is going to be like um, decks of sorts. I guess it's going to be trying to be like um, Block Node and what was the, the horrible one that I hate using. I can't remember anymore. But like um, Algo Trading, Social Dating, Barter Marketplace, Battlegrounds. Uh, looks very promising. And I haven't had the chance to buy this yet. But I'm going to be buying it. I already moved money to the exchange where I'm going to be buying it today. And this looks very interesting. And this is a very cool looking website. I keep saying that. But you want to look more into, um, you know, the stuff that is going around it. Obviously, they have like a map and uh, no Anon teams. That's a great thing, right, guys? And um, yeah, the partners are also pretty great. So I, I like that. And 
been reported by many, many publications so far, and is currently sitting at seven cents. And then let's move on into, and where where is it? Yeah, yeah, who, MCX, and Hotbit right now. And obviously. And then we have Sora, and we talked about the Polka Swap earlier. And Sora is a Japanese, basically, project which is working with Polkadot. The kanji and the the sign here means sky. That's the Japanese from the is that kanji. Sora means sky. And basically, they are working on that polka swap. They're doing a lot of things. There's a lot more into the ecosystem. And it has been blowing up. Many people have already talked about it. I kind of missed the train on this. But I'm still going to be uh, looking into it. And I'm going to be probably buying. They got uh, like a, some type of a mobile application, D3 Ledger. A lot of applications coming out. And Vincero, which is some type of... A, alcohol tracking, I guess, or doing trade or art, I don't know exactly, but very promising project and I'm looking forward to this as well. It's currently sitting at $100, rank 223. And as you can see, the 90-day uh, chart, nice gains here. I was, I mean, even at $120 at some point and uh, might even go up, up above it uh, again. And I'm probably going to be buying it today as well later on i'm gonna be waiting maybe the price to jump down a bit and then i will come aboard but and uh, last project on the list is also working with polka dot it's called keysians and the reason i wanted to feature this is because this is one of those few polka dot partners which haven't exactly um you know busted out in the market it's not jumped yet and they are working basically with a lot of projects such as polka dot ethereum eos and cosmos and they're doing basically a cross-chain light node, smart contracts. They're doing a lot of things, bridge, bridge between chains. Those are going to be very popular in the future as we see Ethereum is congested. And Ethereum 2 is going to come out, I don't know when, which year. And basically, you are staking and hedging funds and getting the double reward from staking and also from the pooled assets. So it can be con converting Cosmos into Ethereum, for example, which you will be providing into DeFi, and you will be getting the Cosmos staking rewards, and you also will be getting yield rewards. That's how I got it, at least. And currently, it is sitting at 10 bucks. just bought a bag, and as you can see, it hasn't really exploded yet in terms of the price. And, you know, it's kind of jumping around in the last couple of days, so there might be a good way to accumulate it and sell it high. So on fat BTC and Uniswap, but I'm not going to make this video any longer. It's already way too long, but I really wanted to feature all these projects and I have all the links to the exchanges down below. You can share your altcoin things down below as well. And I will do a separate video on DeFi projects later this month where we're going to be just talking about DeFi projects. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.